we're going to start playing a little bit with graphics. And when it comes to programming, probably the easiest way to start introducing them and working with them is through turtle graphics. So, turtles. Uh, it's relatively simple. It's often used as an introductory way into programming in general. So, it's not super complicated. Now, that being said, you can do a lot with it. So, if you already are familiar with a lot of programming concepts and flow control and loops and conditionals and things like that, you can do some pretty cool stuff with them. So we're going to start pretty basic, and then you can do something more exciting. Uh, I'm using Python 3, but you can use Python 2. Either one should work just fine. So I'll create a new project in PyCharm. That's the, um, the IDE I'm choosing to use. So here we go, and I'll just bring this down, and new, and Python file. And I'll call this starting turtle just for a beginner one. Now, if you're not familiar with PyCharm, it's made by JetBrains, and you can check them out at jetbrains.com. They have PyCharm in here, which you can pay for, but they also have a community edition that's free. It doesn't have all the same exact features, but if you're not doing it professionally, you probably don't need some of the stuff you're missing anyways. So starting with turtle graphics, I'm going to go ahead and add in a comment just because it's a good idea. And we'll use comments for a little bit of documentation. So I need to import turtle. You should already have turtle installed if you have Python installed. It comes with it. Uh, right now this is gray just because I haven't used it yet, but that's that's fine. To work with Turtle Graphics, I need some sort of window to actually see stuff. So I'm just going to create a variable called load window. The variable itself doesn't actually matter. It's the next value that we're going to put inside of the variable that creates the window, and that's the important part. So this load window part is kind of just, um, well, there are reasons for it, but I'm not going to get into that right now. And this will be turtle dot screen, and there we go. Oops, dot screen. There we go. And so if we run this, we should see something happen. Maybe not much, but even just running that, you saw a pop up, right? So that was this turtle screen loading, uh, but it ran it. It popped up, and then the program ended because there was nothing to do. So we probably want to put some sort of wait command in there. We could do like a wait for user input or, or something like that, but there's also a built-in command into the turtle module. And that is turtle dot exit on click. There we go. So now if we run this again, all right, there we go. So we have a window, it's loaded. It's not impressive, but it's not going anywhere until we click and then it exits. So now we might actually want to maybe make some turtles, maybe have them do something. Alright, so the very first thing, let's just make a turtle and have it do something. Alright, so it's really relatively simple. We can just type turtle. We can give it a command like forward, assuming I can spell. And we can give it a distance. So we can run this, and we can see the turtle has moved forward 100, and by default it faces to the right and starts in the center. We could then tell the turtle to turn. Well, yeah, we'll just see what happens. And run that, and uh, turn is not quite right. What I meant to type was, was left. So we can say left 90, which will make it turn left. And we can run. There we go. So turtle is turned left by 90 degrees. Hasn't done anything yet with that. We could make it go again. And you should start to get the idea. Now that's not very fancy. The other thing too is we could actually use a loop instead and that might be better. So maybe we do for for i in range 4, 
then we want our turtle to go forward and turn left so that way hopefully he makes a square there we go forgot that a little bit and so if we run this there we go we have a nice little square now right now we are running one turtle and every command that we do is affecting that turtle but what we could also do is we could actually set up multiple turtles so I took this idea I played with it a little bit and I have created a few new variables each one being set to a turtle dot pin class so each one of these is going to be a separate instance of this class and I've given each one their own little commands and uh, it's going to do this a whole bunch. This is actually way more times than I need. You should get the idea. So Frank, my turtle Frank, is going to go forward 100 and he's going to turn left and he's going to do that 100 times. And Stacy is going to go forward 100 and she's going to turn right 90 degrees and do that 100 times. Ted is going to go backwards and turn left and Sue is going to go backwards and turn right. So if we run this, run turtle test, where are my turtles? There they are. Let's close that so you can see it from scratch. Run turtle test. All right, there you go. So you can see them getting into their respective spots and they're all going around. Now it might be a little hard to figure out who's who. That's okay. We can color our turtles. So I can say that, Frank, you're going to be color, let's make Frank red. So I could say red, and maybe I want Stacy to be color blue, and uh, Ted, what color do I want you to be? Maybe, um, maybe I want to be a little bit more specific with my colors. So maybe I want Ted to be magenta. So if you're familiar with hex codes, magenta would be a whole bunch of red. So FF, no green, and a whole bunch of blue. So red, no green, lots of blue. Ted should be magenta then. And we can say that Sue's color is going to be maybe cyan. So that's a whole bunch of green and a whole bunch of blue, but no red. So zero zero F F F F. And of course if you're not familiar with hex code, you can go onto the web and find tons of different hex code colors and figure out how that works to make your own colors. So let's run turtle test again. There we go. So now I've got each one a different color. And I thought that was kind of fun. Uh, and then I decided to take that a step further. So what if we had turtles racing? So that would be fun, right? So I decided that I would have turtles racing. Now, if the turtles always went the same speed, that wouldn't be very exciting. Add it in our random module. And uh, to help define the different turtles, instead of using color, I decided to modify their shapes. So you can see defining the turtles themselves, defining their shapes defining their starting positions and you can see I'm not using any comments here because not good turtle starting positions let's see change turtle shapes create turtles import modules etc and here, turtles begin race. All right, and so then for the loop, I have the turtles going forward, but the amount is going to vary each time by choosing a random integer between negative five and 30. And once again, the exit on click. So if I run this, there you go. And you can see sometimes they go back a little bit. Now, if you're familiar with actual turtles, 
they kind of meander a little bit. They're not very good at running straight. And my turtles ran really pretty straight. So really, if I wanted this to be a little bit more accurate, I could also try to make their angle change a little bit. So maybe maybe uh, plus or minus by a few degrees to make it kind of waver. Uh, so I might need to add in here like like Frank left or and Frank right, and it can be like plus or minus five or so. So that way they can kind of wobble around a little bit as they as they run. But uh, maybe I'll add that later. But I thought that was kind of a fun start. So you can play with this and try out different things. Uh, there's a lot more other things that you can do with this too that I didn't talk about. So like for the window, we could say that we want load window to be a particular color, like maybe uh, maybe a light blue. So so be like A A A A F F. That should make that a light blue. There we go. Eh, I meant it to be a little bit lighter, but that's all right. We could also, if we want to go back to turtle test, instead of doing some of this, we could change this to circle, and that can create some interesting things. Doesn't really work well in a race, but you can see it here. Now, of course, it doesn't work that great because they trace one right over each other more or less, although the positions change because I had one going right and one going left, but you get the idea. So you could have some fun with circles. So we could also do stuff like Frank with to decide on how how thick of a brush Frank might be painting with. So if we try this, you can see now it's much, much wider than it was before. So there's quite a few things that you can play with on here. Uh, and not only that, but you know you can always go to Python's documentation. So chapter 24.5 is Turtle Graphics. And there's a lot of different things that you can play with in here and that you can check out and uh, see what happens.